The ankle block is a regional block designed to provide anesthesia for a variety of surgeries performed on the foot or toes. Lay out all necessary equipment prior to performing the ankle block. Sterile towels, 4x4 gauze, betadine, and a skin marking pen are used to prep and mark the foot prior to the block. Also obtain three 10 milliliter syringes, three 25 gauge, one and a half inch needles, and local anesthetic. A variety of local anesthetics may be used for the ankle block. The anesthetic should not include epinephrine due to the risk of vasoconstriction causing ischemia to the foot and toes. The ankle block requires at least three separate needle insertion sites and commonly can involve more. Therefore, it is important to sedate the patient prior to the procedure to ensure comfort. This patient requested light sedation, so you can see her foot move slightly during needle insertion. The patient should lie in the supine position and have a foot rest beneath the calf to elevate the ankle and foot. Using a foot rest to elevate the patient's foot and ankle enables the operator to block the five nerves supplying sensation to the ankle and foot without having to reposition the patient between injections. After the foot is correctly positioned, use a betadine prep to cleanse the foot. Start above the ankle and proceed to clean the foot and toes. Carefully cover the calf and foot with sterile towels, leaving only the ankle exposed. Allow the betadine solution to dry prior to needle insertion. Dorsiflex the patient's foot to locate the extensor hallucis longus and the extensor digitorum longus tendons. The deep perineal nerve lies between these two tendons before dividing into its medial and lateral branches. Feel for the dorsalis pedis pulse. The nerve is located lateral to the artery. Insert the needle lateral to the pulse at an angle perpendicular to the skin, advancing the needle until you encounter bone. Withdraw the needle one millimeter and aspirate. Inject three milliliters of local anesthetic. Using the same insertion site, inject one milliliter of anesthetic at a 30 degree angle to each side of the original insertion. This ensures spread of anesthetic to both the medial and lateral branches of the deep perineal nerve. Using a needle bent at a 75 degree angle will facilitate anesthetic injection at the correct site. Insert the needle at the same site as used for the deep perineal injection, but direct the needle toward the lateral malleolus. When the needle tip nears the lateral malleolus, inject five milliliters of local anesthetic while simultaneously withdrawing the needle toward the anterior tibial ridge. The infiltration of anesthetic should cause a visible rise in the skin's surface, indicating sufficient distribution of the anesthetic to all branches of the superficial perineal nerve. Redirect the needle, this time toward the medial malleolus. In a technique similar to the superficial perineal block, Inject five milliliters of local anesthetic starting at the medial malleolus and ending with the needle tip at the anterior tibial ridge. It is important to infiltrate the anesthetic into the subcutaneous tissue such that a wheel is raised from the malleolus to the anterior ridge. The great saphenous vein runs anterior to the medial malleolus, so caution needs to be taken during injection. Aspirate the syringe prior to injection to avoid introducing anesthetic into the intravascular space. Facing the patient's medial ankle, identify the malleolus and the Achilles tendon. Palpate the pulse of the posterior tibial artery in this space. The posterior tibial nerve is posterior to the artery. Insert the needle one centimeter behind the artery. Direct the needle toward the posterior border of the tibia. Advance until the needle tip encounters bone. Withdraw the needle one half centimeter and inject two milliliters of local anesthetic. Change the angle of the needle. Using a fanning technique, alternate aspirating and injecting anesthetic at each location, 
Inject 1 to 2 milliliters at a time for a total dose of 5 milliliters of local anesthetic. The last nerve to be blocked is the sural nerve. Facing the lateral side of the ankle, identify the lateral malleolus and the Achilles tendon. The sural nerve runs in the superficial tissues approximately one centimeter posterior to the malleolus. Insert the needle at the border of the tendon at the level of the malleolus. Direct the tip of the needle toward the fibula and inject anesthetic as the needle is withdrawn. Again, raise a cutaneous wheel as the anesthetic infiltrates the tissue. After completing the procedure, it is important to remember that the anesthetic may not take complete effect until up to 25 minutes after the injection.